In this session, I'm going to show you how to make sure your A-level, NEA or project is complex enough for you to get the highest marks. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through some project ideas as well. So for the second part of this video, I'm going to look through how to choose something that both meets the criteria and actually will hold your interest for a whole six months. Be aware that your project is not just coding. It's really, really important to remember this because actually what we are doing is we are showing our ability to project manage as well as our ability to code because you are drawing from all of the different areas of computer science. So you need to make sure that you are creating something that supports your digital portfolio. Now, your digital portfolio is something that you are either going to take to your university applications, you could take this out to employment, um, you could take this out to an apprenticeship. They are really, really useful because what you can do with these is you can show your ability to actually work in industry. So this has employability links and you can use this for years. However, you need to make sure it also meets the criteria. So some ideas here could be a card or board game simulation. So if you are a card player, you're a game player, then actually this could be something which is quite useful for the next six months. Um, however, be aware that you need to make sure that your simulation is complex enough. So something like noughts and crosses would definitely not be complex enough, even though it uses a two dimensional array. Instead, you could consider a cut down version of chess or Monopoly. Um, this year, the uh, AQA, well, the, yeah, the a AQA um, simulation was actually a version of Scrabble. It was AQA with words. Um, Boggle is a really useful one because actually with Boggle, what you can do is you can draw out and you can go, oh, well, I can do pattern matching, which is another level of complexity. OK, so I've also put down here some of the things that you could implement. Now, these are aspects of a complex project. I've not looked at adequate. I've not looked at simple. We always want to take our projects and assume that they're going to be complex. We always aim for the top marks and then adjust as we go. So here we've got potentially artificial intelligence if you are playing against the computer. Um, we can have classes, objects, we can save to a text file. Um, you could also implement something like uh, TCP IP with your online features. Um, and certainly in this case, animation. Now be careful with animation because your actual interface is not the thing that's being marked. It is your technical ability. Remember, function over form. So another thing you could look at is a timetabling or rotor system. This is quite a good one if you want to do a database. Um, make sure, though, that your database is designed in third normal form. And you can see another link just below um, for our tutorial on third normal form databases. So here, our timetabling system would potentially implement an algorithm to work out the optimum timetable creation. Um, your teachers will love this. If you could work out a timetable for revision uh, based upon all of the data that was being um, implemented, give the times that uh, you are available um, and it works out your optimum revision timetable, that is a complex project and also quite useful for the end of the year. OK, encryption. Everybody loves the encryption topic. And therefore, if you are really enjoying this, then implement it in your project. This will help with not only creating a project, but actually this also serves as a revision tool. Um, if you are implementing and you are investigating your algorithms, then what you could do is you can make sure that you have a teaching tool to show. First of all, your um, it could just be your Caesar cipher or you could then implement the one time pad. Um, you could even have something which had frequency analysis or a password cracking algorithm. Obviously, you need to make sure in there that you have made sure that you've kept everything legal. Um, however, if you understand the algorithms that you are investigating, this is actually going to help you in your final exams as well. 
Okay, so a and MO, multiplayer online game. So if you are looking for something incredibly complex, this is an excellent one for you to do. JavaScript has been massively overlooked for projects. You can absolutely use JavaScript in your computer science project for A-level, as long as it is complex enough. Now, if you are implementing TCP IP, then you definitely have a high level complex project. Um, and what you can do is you could implement node.js, which automatically supports TCP IP. And what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to create a multiplayer game where two people on different machines can play against each other. You will absolutely need to do a lot of research. You will need to do lots of tutorials, but that is what the project is all about. It is about you going out and investigating something and creating something which you are interested in rather than being told what to do. You could also do a single player game, which is absolutely relevant um, and suitably complex algorithms can definitely create a game. So if you are automatically generating a landscape or generating uh, something else within the game, so pickups or enemies, that's absolutely fine as long as you do it with your object oriented code. Now here, our dynamic generation of objects from our classes is what makes this complex. So things like racing games, maze games, maze games that are absolutely perfect for this. Um, graphical dungeon crawlers have been really interesting over the last couple of years, especially if you're using something like Unity, because you can create a new room dynamically every time you go through a door. Finally, we have the Internet of Things. This is where you get your slightly unusual projects. And I've had some really amazing ones over the last few years. Our Internet of Things requires hardware. So just be aware that this particular project is going to come with a cost. So if you aren't willing to uh, bring in some resources of your own um, or your school or college doesn't have those resources to hand, be very careful about identifying this as your project. So things like smart home applications, um, wearable technology is going to be absolutely amazing and it is really going to make an impact on your digital portfolio. So in this case, you are talking about artificial intelligence, classes, maybe a scheduling algorithm, especially for wearable tech, um, and then potentially a web interface with a background database. So there's loads of things that you can draw upon to make a really excellent A-level computer science project. So if you're looking for more, you can find me on the links below on teachallaboutit.uk. You can find me on Twitter at teachallaboutit. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and look out for my hashtag teachertips. And I will see you next time. Bye.